Hello creative designers and welcome once to tutorial my name is Peter and I'm just going to show you how to create our website in a local server without even uh, without creating it in a live server the local server the best thing about the local server is not going to purchase a domain but you're going to create your website and after that you can be able to upload it in a live server and anyone can access it so on this tutorial we just going to this is the website that we're going to create in this tutorial this is the dashboard of the uh, of this website we have which we have used a uh, local host server uh, the server that we have used is called zamp and i'm just going to take you step to step where you can even get this zamp server installation and i'm also going to show you the installation of the wordpress and even access to the dashboard this is the front end of the website that we have uh, we you're just going to create on this tutorial and i think i'm just going to show you how to create even the database in the local server using php my admin and zamp server in this tutorial you are also going to see even uh the the local server uh, the website that we have uh, created in the local server you can access even the themes and even the plugin once you have connected to the internet but you can also download uh, the plugins and do the normal thing of upload adding you just go to this uh, you just need a plugin downloaded and just upload it even in local server and without further ado let's just get into action and i'll show you how and for us to be able to create the local server we need to, to install the server itself in our in our pc or whatever you're using either laptop or the pc so you need to go to the google section and search for zamp yeah you have the suggestion and the website that you're going to select is from apachefriends.org and click on it zamp installer and downloader and open on the page you, you find that we have a zamp for window a zamp for linux and for os x you can see the php they support it 8.1 yeah the latest one and it all depends on whichever the time you're downloading maybe the time you're watching this will be have released a new version but uh, click and download the latest one so here select the one you want to use i want to use for windows click on that download button i have already downloaded it so i need to install the plugin i take you through the process on how installation and you get there so the first thing i need to first show you is that at this time when you just uh, open localhost you find to want to open you see it has an error so we need first of all to install zamp so we need to go to the downloads and here i have it proceed to installation click ok and installation start so the first thing you see is set up a zamp uh you see welcome to zamp uh, setup wizard so click next here are those servers that you're going to install or uh you, you are going to install with the zamp so i need i will select all of them some of them you need to have it and some of them you not need them but it's all good to install of them so click next which folder do you want it to be uh this this application to be installed into i want it to be installed in c and the folder itself should be called zamp but you can still change on click on this select on that folder you want it to be installed if you want if you have selected on that folder you want it to be installed click next select the language you want to use and after that you'll have this uh, if you want to learn more about the vitamin uh, for example you can select uh, select this but i'm not going to read all uh, any for now so just click next setup is now ready to begin installing zap in your computer so click next 
and the installation start it just take a few minutes and everything will be done at some point it will just uh, ask you to allow it to use the public network uh the internet so it, if you're using a public network you can allow it you can restrict it to use only private network let me allow it on a private network after successful installation you see this which is just a you want to start the control panel for now the other way you can open and go to your pc remember where you where you installed it i installed it in local disk c scroll to where you have the file uh the folder for example here you have it but most of the time it's recommended to use it run it as administrator so let me just create a shortcut a shortcut first of all i have created a shortcut here here you can see it may not see it but i want to run it as administrator run as administrator just that you see now we have the apache or oh, we need this apache here and the msql was running for now but you can stop it and start it when it starts running you can close it and go back to your browser and you can browse on localhost type localhost and you can see here we have it the next thing that you need to do now you need the wordpress open wordpress org click download this uh we have the price rest and the save and also free application this is wordpress the latest version you can see it here all you need to do is click download and you can see i have i have already downloaded it so one thing i need to do is install it but don't worry about all this i will include the link on the description all you need to do is check on my description and download this so i have the wordpress now so i need to close here and i go back to the download here on going to the download i find it here on compressed i copy here it is wordpress 5.6 i copy it like that i need to open it i need to open a new windows also here and i go to local disk c scroll to where we have zamp folder and on opening on the zamp folder you see so many folders select the one that say hd docs scroll open it on here now paste your application here on pasting on it the next thing you need to do is extract even for now when you just try to open it let me just try to open and you see the local dashboard so when you type wordpress like that it will not open because it has not been installed also you have on only extracted it so come let's first of all we have already extracted here you can see the folder so let me delete this one let me open this and i need to copy or copy the file here so it depends on how you want to name it you can name it wordpress or you can create a folder and name it uh, something else after that open here and on open you can see uh, all these files that are content on this folder are the one we're going to use so you can so let me not create the folder there the folder you need to create on this HD docs and then let me call it uh, something like Yarara for easy illustration but it doesn't make no difference to use even the one that is labeled WordPress so I need to copy all this I need to go back to HD docs the folder that you have created is the one I'm going to use paste all of that and the next thing you can do is delete other folders the next the, the, the thing that we have done is that now, now we are not going to use this wordpress because it says they say the same you're going to use the the name of the folder that we have just created so i have never terminated the error so once i open it let me just open you can see now the installation has begun 
So we need now to create the database for us to proceed and everything. So you see the database name, you can rename it the way you want to. If you want to access the database for now, what you need to do is go to localhost and type php my admin. You see, all of that are included. You can decide to, if you want to create a database, all you need to do is click the database, name the database, and just create. Yeah, if you want to create for that website, you can create maybe for WordPress and create like that. Once you have just created and you want to use the database that you have just created, come here and type the database. So I want to use a database that uh, will be named after the, uh, the website that we have just created. So I want to name it. Let me just go back here and select database here. Let me first of all, if we want to delete, you just click on it and select drop like that. And it has been deleted. So I want to name it as Tiara. And I create the database here. I come back here and I name it the way I want. The way I have named it here, if I want to use this one. But if you want to create a new one, you can decide to select. But I want to use this one I have just created. So this is the username. Uh, this is the database name. Username, use root. Remove this password here. Database host, it will be localhost. And table prefix, it will be WP. The other thing you need to do is click submit. And after that, you can see you have now this uh, call to action. All right, uh, Spaky, you are now you ha you have made it through the the part uh, this part of installation. WordPress can now communicate with your database if, if you are ready if you are ready for now and because you have set everything now we run the installation for the wordpress so once you come here and refresh back here and you open up this database it you can see it doesn't have anything because it we have not installed any application or a software that is going to use this database so once we start installation we need to first of all to name the website that we are, we are going to create the other thing is create the database uh the username i'm going to use uh username as admin password let me use pass and because i'm using a, a weak password it will just say confirm that you are going to use a weak password and after that i'm going to use an email we must enter an email that can easily be used to retrieve your website when you just forgot me either of all these either password uh, either username or password so after that now install the wordpress so we just start now when you come to localhost and say localhost and we type the error Now you can see we have already installed our website. Now we have our website and you can even be able to go to even the dashboard. But this means that even if we don't have the internet, you can be able to create your website uh, in the local host or, or without the internet and later you can re -up, we can upload it to, uh, to a live server. So we just start, now you can see, we have this now message that says success it has been uh been successful in story installing the wordpress in our local server so once you come back here in the database you just click on it here you see now the database has all this column that we have just added you cannot be able yeah all this has been added once we have installed the wordpress these are the database uh these are the data for our website so let me close the database and we, that is our 
our website so you can now log in and get to the dashboard so just click here login and you need to enter the email and the password that we have just created with so after that now we have now logged in to the dashboard and you can see it even show the update that are going to be needed yeah we have the update for the themes and once you are connected to the internet you can be able now to update the themes and for the plugins you see there is one update that is needed after that now you see you can be able now to even update the plugins that are out of date it will work like any other website and all you can see when you can be able to have once you're connected to the internet you can be able even to add as many themes you can see all the themes are available the theme repository is even available even the plugin you can all do that uh, that's how you can create the website in the local host server and the next tutorial i'm just going to show you how you can even transfer from the local server to a live server yeah remember the difference between the local server you can only access it when you are using as you are having a server uh in your in your pc or the comp and the current server that you're going to you are having now is the dump server it all depends on the operating system you're using and the other thing you can on and the website you can only access it when you're even you're only using your yeah, a local server maybe you can use a local network to for people to access it maybe in an office but when you want other people to use to to you to have uh, to open your website they can have even that's when you need to upload your website in a live server that's how you can do it you can see you can be even to change even the theme let me just change the theme and use one available here once you open it i want to have changed the theme on that and you refresh it another page in a new tab you can see just change everything that's how you can use zamp server create a website in a local host thank you for visiting my channel remember to hit the subscribe button and like this tutorial if it was of help to you thank you